The Nintendo Switch has proven to be one of the best consoles for couch co-op gaming. Everyone knows about Mario and It Takes Two, but what about some of the lesser known co-op games? Here are 10 underrated couch co-op games on Nintendo Switch. Clan N is a four-player arcade-style beat-em-up. The simple gameplay and controls make it an easy pick-up-and-play for gamers of all levels. However, that's not to say that it's an easy game. Much like the games that inspired it, it's going to take a lot of trial and error to master. I'm a sucker for the pixel art look. Although very basic, I think Clan N does a great job showcasing its old school visuals. The screen is pretty far zoomed out, resulting in all of the players and enemies appearing very small. Overall, I don't mind this, but it can be easy to lose track of what's going on. There are only seven levels, so it's the perfect game to play through in one sitting with your three friends. Kimono Heroes, developed by the team behind A Whole New World, is an action-packed 2D platformer where players control one of four animals with unique abilities. Their mission is to save their homeland from a curse and restore it to its former glory. The game features charming retro visuals and a range of enjoyable gameplay elements, including platforming, combat, and boss battles. While it shines in local multiplayer, the solo experience can feel lacking. The difficulty scales harshly in multiplayer, making it extremely challenging. Despite some frustrating moments and limitations, Kimono no Heroes offers an authentic retro experience that is best enjoyed with friends. Super Punch Patrol is a side-scrolling beat-em-up with a unique hand-drawn sketch look. It used to be a Switch exclusive, but was recently ported to Steam as well. It's a pretty solid brawler. But outside of the visuals, it doesn't add anything new or interesting to help it stand out. It pays homage to Capcom's final fight, featuring a heavyweight character called Chief Anders, who resembles Hagar. The game is difficult, even on the default difficulty setting, and continues to send you back to the beginning of the level instead of where you left off. Despite its difficulty, the game is not unfair, and with practice, you can develop tactics to overcome the various enemy types. The game offers good value for its price, with five tough stages, unlockable costumes and characters, and a superb soundtrack. Overall, Super Punch Patrol is a pretty good game, especially considering its affordable price. Now let's uncover a hidden gem that transcended its mobile origins and made its way to the Nintendo Switch. Part-Time UFO. Developed and published by the acclaimed HAL Laboratories, this physics-based puzzle game offers a delightful twist that sets it apart. And yes, the Switch port introduces an exclusive co-op mode to amplify the fun. Picture yourself in an arcade, gripping the controls of those enticing claw machines. But here's the catch. This time, it's actually fair. In Part-Time UFO, you and your partner join forces to skillfully grab items items and precisely drop them off in designated areas. It's a simple yet addictive gameplay formula that will have you hooked in no time. With its charming visuals, endearing characters, and cooperative mechanics, Part-Time UFO stands tall as a must-play experience on the Switch. So gather a friend, hone your claw-grabbing skills, and get ready for a whimsical adventure that will have you smiling from ear to ear. Part-Time UFO is here to redefine the arcade experience, one cooperative UFO mission at a time. Demon Throttle is a retro-inspired shooter for two players. The art style and music are heavily inspired by 8-bit games of the 80s. It looks like it could be an NES game or Game Boy Color game. You and a friend control the protagonist, a vampirus and dusty gunslinger on a quest for vengeance against a demon. It should be stated that Demon Throttle was only released physically so there is no digital version whatsoever. It might be a little harder to track this one down, but if you can, Demon Throttle is a hidden gem that can only be found on the Switch. Death Wish Enforcers is the latest entry on the list. It's a four-player run-and-gun platformer that draws clear inspiration from Sunset Riders. The game parodies action movies from the 60s and 70s to create a humorous and entertaining co-op experience. The gameplay is really tight and feels like an accurate portrayal of the arcade games from the 90s. If Death Wish Enforcers was able to squeeze its way into an arcade cabinet, you would never know it was a game that came out in 2023. I love the pixel art style here. I love the authentic arcade experience. I love the four player gameplay. This game is really great. One of my favorite games to come out this year so far. 
Wilmot's Warehouse is a charming game that offers a calming experience through the act of organizing various objects in a warehouse. As you sort deliveries and fulfill orders from co-workers, you must devise an effective organizational system within the black and white visuals. The game's simplicity and focus on organization allow you to immerse yourself in the task at hand, providing a peaceful and satisfying experience. If you're looking for a game that celebrates order and offers a sense of calm amidst chaos, Wilmot's Warehouse is a delightful choice. This one is pretty different from any of the other games on the list. It's definitely a game I would consider underrated. In the cooperative action tower defense game Aegis Defenders, players team up to control a group of rune hunters, Bart and Clue, as they explore a world of gods and defend against waves of enemies. Each player can control a different character with unique abilities such as Clue's rifle and Bart's hammer. Together they solve puzzles, switch between characters to overcome obstacles, and strategically build and upgrade defensive towers to protect their objectives. The co-op gameplay in Aegis Defenders enhances the experience by allowing players to coordinate their actions, divide tasks, and tackle challenging scenarios with improved efficiency. This game has a really cool dynamic split screen mode. So when you separate, it goes into split screen. When you get closer together, it goes into a single screen and then it moves around accordingly. I love seeing this in games. It offers an exciting blend of platforming, puzzle solving and tower defense mechanics that are best enjoyed with a partner. Pixel Junk Eden 2 offers an enjoyable co-op experience as players team up to navigate vibrant gardens and collect spectra. Working together, players can swing from plants, grow seeds, and unlock spices to assist their grimps. The cooperative gameplay allows for shared exploration, strategic coordination, and the joy of discovering new paths and secrets together. With its unique input scheme and objective-based gameplay, Pixel Junk Eden 2 offers a captivating co-op adventure where players can collaborate and immerse themselves in its audiovisual world. This is another one that's just very unique, so I wanted to include it. Vitamin Connection, developed by WayForward, is a unique and lively Switch exclusive that combines elements of casual shoot 'em up and motion controlled maze running and mini games with a focus on two player couch co op. Players control Vita Boy and Mina Girl as they navigate the intricate pathways of a family's body. The game offers a mix of shooting viruses, solving puzzles, and engaging in rhythm based and grabber mini games. While the controls can be a bit finicky, the charming art style, humorous cutscenes, and eclectic soundtrack contribute to its overall appeal. Other than some of the early Switch games like 1 2 Switch, I feel like this uses the Joy Con and its motion controls in the most creative way I've seen yet on the Switch. Although it can feel this jointed at times, Vitamin Connection delivers an enjoyable experience, especially for those seeking a new co-op game. What are some other co-op hidden gems on the Nintendo Switch? If you liked this video, be sure to watch our video where we talked about Nintendo Switch ports with exclusive co-op features. Thank you for watching.